Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and today we're going to be breaking down my song, Miracles in the Ordinary. I uh, hope you guys had liked this song. I definitely am a big fan of it. <laughs> if you didn't know, though, this is this is this might not be known. It's actually the Christmas story, and um, I wrote it with the intention of, uh, like, so at my church, we, we did, a, like, we were trying to write Christmas songs, new Christmas songs that we could sing for Christmas. And um, I wanted to write the story in a way that could be told that didn't scream Christmas at you. Like, I wanted it to be able to be listened to year-round. Um, so what I did is I, I had to tell the story of, of a girl and her husband and, uh, you know, having a baby and stuff. And I wasn't super descriptive about, like, that it was, like, you know, Mary in the Bible and Joseph in the Bible. So, um that's actually the backstory of it. Um, that's just a little trivia knowledge if you didn't know that. Um, but I did. I sang this in my church. Um, it was cool because what we did is uh, I took out. All, I, I played two tracks. Like we had the full band and tracks. So whatever we couldn't fill with a band, I, I, we had with tracks, which I just thought was fun. It was I, I really enjoyed that. So it started with this piano loop. Um, let's see. It's, I did not adjust the key at all. Just gave a little bit of EQ. Um, and this is what we got. I just sped it up just a tiny bit too. It was originally in G sharp major, um, or A flat major, depending on what you call it, want to call it. At 80 BPM, I made it 83 BPM. And had to give a little bit of, um, what's it called? Like a fade in there, because it had a clip at the beginning. Okay, now we have two, like it starts right on the verse, which is unique for me. I usually start my song with the chorus. Um, we have the main verse. She was just a country girl from a little country. I've been using a lot of um, pitch correction in addition to um, the flex pitch. I use flex pitch to fix the pitch when it's a pretty decent dramatic pitch, but also to more importantly fix timing of vocals. And I just like the way that that pitch correction sounds. Uh, we have a bit of EQ, took a little bit of low end out. Um, and we had, it's just so it cuts through. Again, like always, I use the vintage Vox. Uh, sorry, the Vintage VCA, uh, and we have Replica XT, my favorite echo. We have a, a half note echo going on. We have a little bit of chorus on that tape delay. I use a lot, and we have some ducking going on. So when it's singing, engaged to a carpenter. So you can't hear it at all when I'm not when I'm singing. Good man stuck around when. So you can hear when I when I stop singing. Then we have some chroma verb going on, and we also have a little a little bit. I think the slapback delay right here. You have a slap act delay going on. All right, then we have an octave up. So, she was just a country girl from a little serious country pitch correction here. Engaged to a carpenter, the good man stuck around when. All right, then we have. I think that's just it for the beginning. Then we have this this boom bap kind of kick. It's actually what's funny about this. This is the same. Um, if you watched my other video, I don't know if I'll, I'll post this before or after, my song Forever and Always, uh, which came out after this song, uh, there's a snare in the second chorus, or kick snare in the second chorus, that's actually a sample from this, it's a chop, one single chop that I chopped up and, and put in there. But that has, this has chorus, it makes a big difference, look at the chorus. Very mono. Very stereo now, and I like that a lot. Repetitively. All right, then we have a harmony on the you saw right here. You saw, echo. Calls in the ordinary. Layered vocals right here, octave up and octave down. Miracles in the ordinary and little things turn left. Four vocals left and right, octave down. Then we have octave up right here. A lot of. When you speak, things come alive. Look at that! You, I forgot to turn off my speakers when recording. I believe the right vocal. Listen to this. You can very slightly hear the uh, the music in the background. Also, I, I recorded it way too hot. You can hear that it overloaded the mic there. And uh, it's kind of pitchy, actually. But it, in the whole mix... Things come alive, open my eyes to see it. It doesn't really matter all that much. We have this 808 bass, which I sampled from Splice. I would think it was just the original. It was either a C or an F, and then I just pitched it up and down. What I did that's different though about this is I, I actually um, raised the attack. So instead of it just hitting with the 808 kick in the center, 
I raise the attack, so it kind of gives that swelling in. Uh, as always, I use my symbols uh, um, from Logic. Just use the crash left and crash right. Use it in all my songs. Cashmere symbol swell. Use it in all my songs. Uh, I think that... Oh, we got a hi-hat right here. Chop. You can hear that it's a little bit distorted because of the timing of the song. Like, I timed it a little differently. And then we have uh, a pad coming in. This is the original. So this is the original sound that I got from my mini lug right here. Just pad-like sound. Taking a lot of the high end, low end out, and then pulsing with the tremolo. That's what we got for the chorus. Let's go into the, uh, the, the verse. Now we got some vinyl going in, vinyl crackle. This is verse 2. Very low in the mix. Kind of just adding a little bit of texture. Um, no octave up until the second part of this chorus. Next they had to leave. Uh, you know what, let me talk about the chorus vo uh, uh, vocal effects. We have a lot of things going on. We actually, on all the vocals, have tremolo. Or on all the low vocals, we have tremolo. And what that's doing is it's giving it just a little bit of pulsing to the sound, just to give a little bit extra movement. Miracles in the ordinary no, tremolo. Little things turn legendary. Just a little bit of extra. Things come alive. A little bit of movement. Just kind of keeping the song moving a little bit extra. Um, I like doing that on vocals. Uh, all right, now we have verse two drums, which I believe uh, they, yep, they open low filtered, and I believe the filter opens up as we go. Let's see. Yep, right hand, right hand for you. Watch. It's called automation. Now we got harmonies and octave ups right here. You can even tell, like, my vo my voice sounds terrible in this octave up. Overload of the mic, all this stuff. And, if it, and when you hear it, it doesn't matter. I also use CLA vocals on a couple things. Um, what it was kind of annoying about this is, um, it, like, the... the um, License, I guess. I don't know. You have to buy a license for it, like an updated every couple of years. So that's like really annoying. That like if I, I haven't used these in a while, but if I wanted to like do stems or show you guys this stuff, I had to re upload, uh, re buy the license, which is like thirteen bucks. But still, I don't like the idea that I have to pay for it every couple of years. Like you pay for it once, why have to pay for it again? Uh, we also have a low pad synth coming in here. It's just a cut. So actually. I actually took a decent amount of music from um, this song and put it into Forever and Always. Um, like this pad sound right here is in Forever and Always, I think in the second chorus. This is the original sound. A lot of EQing, a lot of chorus. Making that brighter, tremolo, exciter, kind of just giving that that brighter thing, and then some reverb. What else do we got? We got some acoustic guitar that comes in. Echo. That's me playing. Wow, like you, you like that funky note? No, it's not even in the key. Open my eyes to see the you don't even hear it. That's so funny. That's what I love about listening to each individual thing. Is you you hear the mistakes, but you don't you don't realize that they're mistakes when you're recording. Like, and that's the best part. Like, or let me rephrase that. In the whole mix, you don't hear the mistakes. Is what I'm trying to say. Then we have this synthesizer. Compressor is compressing it pretty heavily, actually. And that's just from the Korg menu log. Little things turn legendary. Yeah, come in. Love, open my eyes to Lastly, right in the end, when it's just a It's a chorus on it. I believe it's a slap back delay. Yep, slap back delay. It's also, you can see that it's panning. So we can watch that pan coming from back here. You see that it's panning to the right. Oh, let me talk about the female vocals. Yes, I like that a lot, actually. 
what we have is we have do's and da's and stuff from uh, uh, Splice. And what we have is we have this female do. I pitch corrected a little because I think it was out of key. A little bit of vibrato. I took a decent amount of the low end out. So we also have this and then I chopped it up I think and pitched it and stuff. Let's see. Did I? Maybe not. But yeah, I, I moved this note down so that I could create this melody. What we have here is This note is originally, I think it's the same note as before. Yeah, it's the ending note. I just chopped it and moved it down to make it do. So now we have these three things. But we have some echo. So we just listen. To ton of echo on that. Then it ends with just the vocals, layered left and right, Miracles. and the vinyl, and then lastly is the high pass filtered piano, so that it's like, it's normally. Miracles in the ordinary but it's just, it's too much, so what I did is I just high passed it. Giving this like very different feel, and then I took the last note and dragged it to make it long like that. So that, that that's why that's why. It... Kind of fades out, and there we go. That is my song, Miracles in the Ordinary. Again, one of my favorite songs. I just like the simplicity, the lyrics. I'm a li big lyric guy. I care a lot about the lyrics. So hope you guys enjoyed that. You can text me one eight three three five seven five zero nine four eight if you want to uh, check out the rest of my or. Oh, if you want to text me, but if you want to check out the rest of my music, that means a ton to me too. I'll see you guys later. One last thing I'm going to add a little freebie is part of the reason that I have this negative 3.4 dBA. Uh, sorry, just dB, not dBA. And then I'm doing business as. Oh, I also did this. I also brightened the whole stereo track and took it a little bit of low end, which is unique because I rarely ever put anything on the full stereo out. But I did lower this because I want to keep it m below negative 6 dB. Uh, when I export it so that or bounce it so that when I master it there's something called headroom and that helps a lot so that's why well preferably I would rather lower everything uh, by negative 3.4 instead of just a stereo it's it works whatever who cares so that's it hope you guys enjoyed that I'll see you guys next time peace out